Hello and welcome back gamers. This is Hariya from Gaming Rhapsody. Altaya returns back to Masyaf to speak to the Grandmaster Al Mualim about the confessions by William of Monfera during his last few words before death. Al Mualim provides more and more riddles and keeps Altaya's thoughts in circle. Watch this video to know more on the heated arguments between Al Mualim and Altaya. And in return for the kill, Altaya earns a rank and gains additional throwing knives. If you like to watch all the investigations and the assassination of William of Mofera, the links to the video are provided in the description below or you can click the notification shown above or at the end of this video you can watch them from my playlist. Okay, let's hear the wisdom that al Mualim has to share. Come out of here. I would have news of your progress. I've done as you've asked. Good, good. I sense your thoughts are elsewhere. Speak your mind. Each man I'm sent to kill speaks cryptic words to me. Each time I come to you and ask for answers. Each time you give only riddles in exchange, but no more. Who are you to say no more? I'm the one who does the killing. If you want it to continue, you'll speak straight with me for once. Tread carefully, boy. I do not like your tone. And I do not like your deception. I have offered you a chance to restore your lost honor. Not lost, taken by you, and then you've sent me to fetch it again like some damn dog. It seems I'll need to find another. A shame. You showed great potential. I think if you had another, you'd have sent him long ago. You said the answer to my question would arise when I no longer needed to ask it. So I will not ask. I demand you tell me what binds these men. Now, what you say is true. These men are connected by a blood oath not unlike our own. Who are they? Non nobis, domine non nobis. Templars. Now you see the true reach of Robert de Sade. All of these men, leaders of cities, commanders of armies. All pledge allegiance to his cause. Their works are not meant to be viewed on their own, are they? But as a whole, what do they desire? Conquest. They seek the Holy Land not in the name of God, but for themselves. What of Richard, Salah Hedin? Any who oppose the Templars will be destroyed. Be assured they have the means to accomplish it. Then they must be stopped. That is why we do our work, Altair. To ensure a future free of such things. Why did you hide the truth from me? That you might pierce the veil yourself. Like any task, knowledge precedes action. Information learned is more valuable than information given. Besides, your recent behavior had not inspired much confidence. I see. Altair, your mission has not changed, merely the context within which you perceive it. And armed with this knowledge, I might better understand those Templars that remain. Is there anything else you want to know? What about the treasure Malik retrieved from Solomon's temple? Robert seemed desperate to have it back. In time, Altair, all will become clear. Just as the role of the Templars has revealed itself to you, so too will the nature of their treasure. For now, take comfort in the fact that it is not in their hands, but ours. If this is your desire. It is. You are restored another rank. Take back your weapon. Use it to bring honor to the Brotherhood. Altair, before you go... Yes? How did you know I wouldn't kill you? Truth be told, Master, I didn't. I took a leap of faith. That's the end of this video, folks. If you like the content of this video, then please share your thoughts in the comments below. And do click the like button if you like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button with the bell icon tap so you'll be notified on my next video of Assassin's Creed where Altaya speaks to the Rafiq of Jerusalem to know more on his next target, Mas Judin. See you guys in my next video.